your middle school math teachers. This video is all about how to teach one step equations. If you want to download all the fabulous resources that I'm going to share with you right in this video that are totally free, hang with me until the end and I'm going to share with you the exact link that you need to grab everything in this video. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. We have an entire membership area that includes everything you need to teach your face-to-face -face classroom or your virtual classroom, including instructional videos, lesson plans, PowerPoints, practice problems, and digital and printable resources, because we gotta be ready for both. If you would like more information on our membership, click the link below in the description. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the exact process that I use to teach one-step equations with integers to my students. And all I tell my students that they need to know is the letter T. Yes, a capital T, that's it. Okay, let's jump right in. Let me share my screen with you and I can show you exactly how I teach this concept. Okay, so in our one step equations, let's do an example. So if I had an equation like x plus three equals seven. Okay, so all your students are gonna do is draw an upside down capital T. So they're gonna draw through the equal sign and then they're gonna make the top of their T. Okay, so now everything you do to this side of your wall, so to speak, you must do to the other side. It's kind of like a mirror. So here, x minus three, so in order to get rid of this positive three, we must do the opposite. So we're gonna subtract three and we're gonna subtract three to the other side of our mirror. Three take away three is nothing, so we are left with x equals seven minus three, which is four. Easy, right? Okay, so now if I had x minus five equals negative two, again, we're gonna draw our upside down t through our equal sign. And remember, whatever you do to one side of the mirror, you must do to the other. So the opposite of negative five is positive five. And I have to do it to both sides of my mirror. These zero out, so I am left with x equals negative two plus five, which is three. Same goes for if you have a question like x minus negative three equals 10. You're gonna do the same thing. We are going to draw an upside down T. We have to get rid of this negative negative and make it a positive. So now the opposite is going to be negative three to both sides. And I am left with 10 minus three, which is seven. And I call this T charting. So all you're going to do is you're going to use your T chart. So you have X minus one, negative seven. We'll do one more example just for good luck. We will do our T chart and the opposite of negative one is plus one. And we do it both sides to our mirror. And so we have negative seven plus one is going to be negative six. And that's it. All you need for your students to be successful with one step equations is a T chart. If you would like to grab, oh, I forgot to show you. One of my, a few of my favorite resources for practicing one step equations is using an awesome note taker like this. I guess it's not really a note taker, but more like a practice sheet where I've included the T chart here and your students fill in the in the boxes and then down here your students will work the t-chart on their own another one of my favorite activities is to use a board game this board game is perfect for the fall holiday season but you could also use this any time of the year so this is a printable board game with printable movable pieces and printable um, question cards and of course there's an answer key at the very end if you are a teacher who is teaching in a distance learning model in a virtual model, we also have a printable Google Classroom ready digital board game. And what I love about this is the pieces are movable 
and our our question cards are also movable. You can use them or you can move them from the draw pile to the discard pile. So once they are used, you just move them to the discard pile. And of course, on the next slide, there is a fabulous answer key. There's also directions on how to play as well, but figured you can read those when after you download this freebie. If you would like access to these resources, use the link below in the description box or in this post to download all of these activities. And if you would like to grab these activities and all the resources that you need to teach middle school math, I would love to invite you to come join us inside the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership. You can find the link and all the information in the description box below all about our membership. And until next time, until next week for our next video, I will see you inside of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Membership. My name is Kathy Martin. See you next week. Bye.